What is your name and how did you discover it? If you didn't or it was given to you, by who or how did you get it? My name is Tyler Shiloh Jones and I discovered my name from looking at baby names online. My name is Gabriel and I chose this name simply because it's a name I've wanted and it was not the first name I chose after a variety of names but this is the second time I legally changed my name. My name is Chandler and I actually it cracks me up because a lot of people think that I got my name from that character on the show Friends. But actually, fun fact, I got my name from a girl that I was in second grade with. I was seven when I met her. And she looks nothing like the guy from Friends. My name is Harry and I chose that name myself after a long time of not being comfortable with my birth name. My name is Alex and I discovered it when I was a small child because I watched Wizards of Waverly Place which was a show on Disney Channel, and the main character's name was Alex Russo. Well, my name is Nella. Um, I was given this name by my parents. Uh, I was actually given two names. I was given Fanula and Nella because they couldn't decide on which one to give me, so they gave me both. My name is Callan Haley Williams. Um, Callan was just a name that I liked from, I don't know, when I was like 10, 11. It was a main character in one of the Pokemon games, and I think it was the male character, but it was a name that I just have liked for so long. Um, and then when I started looking through names and I found out it was a female name, I was just like, fuck yeah. Sorry, I don't know if I can swear, <laughs> sorry. I changed my name, I was rushing into it. I initially thought it was cool, but after a while I found that it didn't really fit me, so I switched it over to Gabriel and I had no regrets since. I actually am lucky to identify, to feel that I identify with both of my names, so I go by both, I go by Finn, which is short for Finula or Nella. When I was younger, I used to very insistently say that I wanted to call my first child Draco, and I've always been really into Harry Potter. When I made a video about Ariel Scarsella and Jacqueline Glenn, uh, a lot of people saw it, and quite a few people started calling me Harry Potter, um, making fun of my appearance because of my round glasses and my short dark hair at the time. It sort of felt pretty natural to me to pick that name, not just because of that, but just because it felt like it was my name, and I'd never really felt that before. Why did you decide to change your name? When I first came out as trans four years ago, I was not comfortable with being called by my birth name, and so I decided to change my name so that it would better suit my new identity that I came out as. Uh, I decided to change my name because my birth name was feminine and I am not a female. Well, I didn't change my name. Um, you could say that I guess I gave myself a short version of my, of my birth name, but um, I haven't actually changed it. So I haven't changed it because I feel very connected to my past and also to my parents, and the name Nella still really fits with who I am today. I decided to change my name because I was not comfortable with my birth name. It, it felt very feminine to me, and it just didn't feel right to be referred to with that name. I wanted to uh, push myself away from anything feminine, basically a hyper-masculine kind of toxic masculinity thing going on, because this was back when I couldn't pass for anything. My voice betrayed me, and I wasn't on testosterone yet, so... I was deciding, like, I need a name that basically says I'm 100% masculine. I decided to change my name because while I think my birth name is really pretty and nice, it never really felt like it was mine. So my birth name is Elena. I'm fine with people knowing that now. It's also a common name in cultures that speak Spanish, and so when I took Spanish classes, it would be in the textbooks and stuff. Anytime I saw the word Elena typed out, I had such a disconnect where I would just kind of look at it and go, that's, like, my name, right? I don't know. It, it, it's a nice name, but it just never felt like it was really mine. And so that's why I wanted to change my name to something that I felt like I could own, that actually felt like it fit me. So originally, when I was sort of questioning my gender, I thought, oh, I'm never going to change my name. I'm going to be fine with it. But as I started to come... I guess to terms with myself, I thought, I really hate this name, and it's, my dead name was a name that I've always really disliked, and never really understood why, until I started going by Kellen, and I was just like, oh, I love it, and I was just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm changing that shit. Do you think it is necessary to change your name when you transition? I guess for me, yes it was necessary, but I also know some trans people who don't change their name. I don't think anything is specifically necessary 
in the concept of transitioning. You transition however you feel that you should transition. If you're not comfortable with your name, then certainly you can experiment with other names and see if you find something that fits you better. But if you're comfortable with your name, there's absolutely no reason to change it. People might have unisex names like Alex, Riley, or Jax, or something like that, and they don't feel the need to change it because people will just see, oh, well, that name could be a male name too, or this, per this name could be a female name too. Oh, this could be interpreted two ways. And so there's really not much of a need if they don't have a problem with it. You can do whatever the heck you want. Transitioning is different for everyone. You don't even have to do it to something vastly different like I did. Changing their name to something very, very similar, like I know a lot of trans people do, or not even changing their name at all. Like if you're comfortable with your name, you like it. You're allowed to like your birth name. You're allowed to want to keep your birth name. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't make you more or less trans if you have changed your name or if you haven't. So I guess it just depends on where your dysphoria lies, whether it's purely just physical or also in like your name and stuff like that. Even if the name you use has stereotypically masculine or feminine connotations that don't necessarily align with your gender, it doesn't mean that you can't have that name. As soon as you have that name, it is a name that is suitable for your gender. The name is a word and for me it's the intention in which you use it. And I feel like there's this pressure that you have to change your name and you have to change your pronouns and you have to do all of these things and you don't. The only thing that you should be doing is whatever it is that makes you feel the most comfortable and the most you. How did your parents and your friends react to your name change? They kind of adjusted to it pretty well because my name didn't fit the me that they knew now after I'd come out. My mom uh, for a long time was uncomfortable with the idea of me changing my name because she and my dad made up that name for me specifically and my dad died and there was sort of a lot going on with that but now I think she understands that it was a necessary change for me. It wasn't something I was doing just because I, I hated the name that I was given. It just was a name that didn't fit me. My friends took it pretty well. They haven't really had trouble within the last four years calling me by the correct name or pronouns. But with my family not being as supportive or understanding of the LGBT community, they haven't called me by the correct name or pronouns for the last few years, and I don't really expect them to for a while. Personally, my mother was like, if the name's not Adrian, I'm not interested, and I think it's an ugly name, and that you should be ashamed of yourself. And my dad didn't really care about much about it. In fact, he doesn't really care about much of what I'm into or what I'm really doing, so that's pretty much uh, the end of that. My mom? was pretty supportive. It took her a while to actually start calling me Chandler. I never really felt comfortable saying Chandler because everyone around her was still saying Elena and pressuring her to say Elena. So when her friends started saying Chandler, she was like super quick and super on it to start calling me Chandler. They weren't too pleased at first because I sort of told them, oh, I'm never gonna change my name. And then I did and I was just a bit shocked um, and also sad that they didn't get to choose it themselves. But they've kind of got used to it two years on, so, well, a year and a half, so it's all right. A lot to deal with with a family member rather than it is with a friend. So if you're having trouble with that, then I feel that it's easier for you to come out to your friends rather than your family because your friends are a little bit more understanding. I think it can be challenging for parents to understand that at first because they did give you a name just for you and you're rejecting that, but it's not a rejection, it's just that it doesn't fit you at all, and you need to change it for your own well-being. My dad was not so accepting. The day after I turned 18, like literally the day after, I filed for my legal name change and changed my name from Elena Nicole to Chandler Nick, and my dad and I were driving in the car together the entire way to college, it was about four and a half, five hours. We were having good friendly conversation, laughing at jokes, listening to music, bonding, all these great things. And then the moment we get onto the campus, he says, I really wish you would have kept your real name. He's been really, really unaccepting of my name change and the fact that I'm trans in general. But I have a lot of friends that were really, really accepting and it helps a lot to have a lot of people in your corner. I saw this post a while ago saying something about how when you're given a name, it's a gift and you can choose to return it. 
but it doesn't mean you're not grateful for it. I worded that really badly. Uh, that is not how it was worded, but I, I think you get the idea. Changed my name around the same time I started Hormones. So once the initial shock of that wore off around my family and some of my friends, I think it was mostly a positive reaction about my name change. People made sort of lighthearted jokes about how I only changed my name because I wanted to be like Harry Styles and that sort of thing. It was actually Harry Potter, a fictional character, like I already mentioned. But also, ultimately, it's just a name I feel fits me and it has not as much to do with other people named Harry as I originally thought it did. Was your current name your first choice? Well, yeah, my current name is my birth name, so I guess it is my first choice. <laughs> yes and no. I did experiment with some other names, but I never decided that I wanted to go by any before I picked this name. It's totally fine to experiment with names without knowing exactly what name you want to go by for the rest of your life because it is possible to change it multiple times. And you're not necessarily really going to know if you're comfortable with a certain name until you try it out for yourself and have others refer to you with that name. I went by the name Mason with like two people, an internet friend, and one, one person, the very, very, very first person that I met at the high school that I went to. I was in my first year of high school and she was in her last year and she was cis. And I remember telling her about my gendery feel. I used to dress up ridiculously and take edgy pictures and I would send them to her because she was also going through her scene phase. She said that her friends thought that I was a guy and she would tell me that and I was like, hell yeah, that's so cool, I'm such a dude. And I was like, hey, by the way, can you call me Mason? And she was like, hell yeah, but I never actually said anything about being trans. <laughs> so the only other name I went by I wasn't even out as trans when I went by it, and it was a more masculine name than Chandler. My current name was not my first choice. Um, I tried out the name Mason, and also uh, Jared, and also Jaden, which Jaden is my middle name, but yeah, Mason just kind of never really fit properly. My nickname, which is Ty, has always been my name for the last four years, but my entire first name has not always been the same. It used to be a different name, but Ty was within that name, and now I've changed it to Tyler. I went through a whole list of names, and honestly, if my, if my first choice name was Marcel, and if it wasn't so strikingly similar to my older brother's name, uh, I would have kept it. So after a while, I went through a lot of names and since I was in a rush to get a job and I didn't want to go through the whole, oh, even though my name is legally this, I want you to call me this and I'm like trans and I really didn't want to deal with that. So I picked Damien, thought it was sounded cool. It came from the Omen series and I stuck with that and after a while I found it didn't really fit. And so I started looking up different names like David or Daniel, Raphael, and then I ended up on Gabriel and apparently it fits me perfectly. And it's kind of funny considering Damien comes from from like the Omen Antichrist and now I switched over to Gabriel which is the name of an archangel so I basically went from demonic to angelic. Advice for people who are still looking for a new name or what type of methods they could use to help with the process. My advice is don't rush into it. Don't make the same mistake I did where I picked a name, uh, literally locked it down legally and found that it didn't really fit and so I had to pay even more money just to change it to a name that I could withstand and tolerate because at the end of the day you have to answer that name you're gonna get referred to that name hundreds of times a day and so it has to be something that's not gonna make you cringe or like or basically roll your eyes and trying to say that so don't rush really work on it and also don't be afraid to experiment on names. You're not necessarily going to be immediately comfortable with a new name as soon as you change it and ask people to refer to you with that name. I certainly wasn't. It felt a bit weird to me at first. I sort of have always liked the girls from like video games and like TV shows because that's who I've always sort of looked up to what, when I couldn't be the girl myself. I sort of lived through them. So I looked at those names and sort of just wrote them down. So just anything from around you, it's okay to choose a name from if it's based on like your favorite singer or whatever, it's totally okay because it's your name and this is your chance to, I don't know, have a fresh start if you want. I did for a while look for another name. My main search points when it came to looking for a name was for it to be the same amount of syllables as the name I use now so that I, I automatically react to it. And I asked my friends, I was like, do you think Finn suits me? Which is short for Fanula and they were all like, you know what, actually that kind of worked. Don't rush it. 
you have so much time to discover the person that you are and to discover the word that you feel will fit you. And even if you don't, it's okay. I know people that go by initials, I know people that go by letters. And also don't feel pressured that you have to change your name because I know often trans people are given this list of things to tick off until they become like, I don't know, fucking Holy Spirit or something. For me, when I decided that I wanted to change my name, I knew what letters I wanted my first and middle name to be. And I feel like that's a good start so that it will narrow down the amount of names that you're choosing between. And then from there, I feel that you should probably have the help of a trusted friend or family member. And if you feel that the name doesn't suit you after a while, then decide to change your name. You don't have to keep the same name. What might help is like, what kind of name are you looking for? Do you want something that could be shortened to a cute nickname? Do you want a name that's a, a common name in your country? Do you want something that uh, basically pays tribute to someone you look up to in your life? Or someone that you really admire or someone's in your family, like let's say a great grandfather had this name or a great grandmother had this name and so you want to pass on the tradition and take up their name. This is like the most silly advice I feel, but go on Google and just type in baby names, like most common baby names, because parents are always looking up that stuff when they're trying to name their children, so just look up baby names. I did that for a long time trying to narrow down some names. You don't have to feel so much pressure to even change your name in the first place. Just do what feels comfortable to you. And that's really all that matters. Your friends know you so well. So ask them. Don't be afraid of it. If you're out to them, ask them and see what they say. You never know, you might like it. I know I've helped friends with names and friends have helped me. So yeah, look for them. Look to them for help always with this. I think it's really important. If you have a parent or a guardian or whoever named you uh, who is upset about the fact that you're changing your name, you definitely don't have to, but maybe you could ask them to have a say in your new first name or your new middle name if you decide to change that as well. That way... It's alright everyone. It's alright. There are so many different ways to figure it out. There is absolutely no rush to figure out how and when and who refers to you as what. It's a pretty cool thing that you have the option to pick a new name for yourself and you deserve to have a name that makes you feel comfortable and represented, and hopefully people can understand that. I don't know how well I worded any of that, and I'm really sorry about my dogs uh, play fighting in the background. Thank you so much for having me on your channel. Um, I don't know if this is like a self a, a, a promo opportunity, but if you want to check out my channel, it is youtube.com slash c slash juxt harry, <laughs> just harry with an x instead of a u. I'll, I'll see you there if you, if you, if you want to hang out. Um, haven't posted a video in like half a year, but it's fine. I'm going to hope, hope, hopefully be coming back to YouTube soon. Um, and thanks. You can check out my channel, and the link will be in the description down below. Yeah, I'm adding work for you when you edit this. Ha! Okay. Subscribe to the channel that you're watching this on, because um, this channel is amazing. And... I... Did, I don't... I don't know how you wanted me to do an outro, so this is just me being awkward. Okay, bye. Voice cracking, it's fine, bye. That you should be doing is whatever it is that makes you feel the most comfortable and the most you. That was a really gay answer, huh? Please don't leave that in. <laughs>